Now, critique is a loaded term, uh, and it means different things in different contexts. And often it is something praiseworthy. So if you uncritically uh, accept something, then it is bad. That's, about, uh, that's one thing. Literally, critique just means um, evaluation or assessment. Uh, although there's always an element of in English as well as, for example, in Urdu, as far as I can see, that critique is something negative in the sense, sense that that's its uh, dominant use uh, in everyday <coughs> language because to criticize something is to generally thought to be you know, something negative, uh, especially um, in Urdu, for example, Tanqeed has that Tanqeedi Nigah. And obviously, it's from <clears throat> Arabic word naqt. In fact, Arabic word doesn't have that uh, negative connotation as far as I can see. Uh, um, even in Urdu, when we use naqt, probably it doesn't have um, overly negative uh, connotation. But in this context, critique just means assessment, evaluation of something. It can be positive, it can be negative. So overall evaluation, assessment of something. Uh, which, uh, another Arabic word which we use in Urdu as well, like not in uh, Urdu you hear these days, but uh, in, in literally Urdu we use it, the fahus. The fahus. The fahus. I mean, assessment. Anyway, so this is uh, the meaning of critique. Now, critique um, <clears throat> assessment can be critique. We can divide critique into many types. But one classification is internal critique. And this classification will become relevant too when we talk about critique of capitalism, he's talking about an external critique. That's very important. So, system of thought or knowledge. Um, You can evaluate it according to its own rules and its own standards. Uh, but any system, you, a system of thought and knowledge, and you can also evaluate them according to uh, external standards, which are not its own standards. It doesn't accept. So, for example, you can evaluate Islam and assess Islam, for example, according to uh, claims you can assess according to Islam's own standards and criteria. But you can also do that according to, for example, standards of Christianity or modernity, for example. So the, this is internal critique and this is external critique of Islam, for example. So that's why Orientalism, when we talk about Orientalism, what is Oriental? Orientalists study all those things which you know, scholars study in a different Islamic education systems. But why we call them Orientalism? Because they are trying to understand Islam according to the prevalent, um, so that changes. So Orientalism in 18th century, 17th century, 19th century was different according to ideologies which was dominant at the time. But they, generally speaking, Orientalism evaluate Islam according to the standards or standards of modernity of or enlightenment, or mixture of them, enlightenment and romanticism. That's why when we call ourselves Occidentalists, that's because we are trying to evaluate the West, not according to its uh, West, West by I mean modernity, not geographical things. So for us, Japan is West, for us, North, so South Korea is West, and increasingly, China is becoming the West, and the Russia is to a large extent the West. So that is standards evaluation, because we evaluate everything apart, try to anyway according to Islamic standards, that we, we can call our work as Occidental. Um, so, um, so these, these are important, two types of critique, external and internal. They're all, there are other different types of, uh, more classification, for example, as some, some papers I have, a uh, long time ago, I tried to develop a typology of uh, 
parts of critique and things which which is quoted in, and reproduced in our literature in various books as well okay so when back in 2013 maybe 